Now, we knew the main components of the microwave and the E1 that is used for the data transfer and the indoor unit, of course. And this drawing over here is just to um, see how the system works or how the connection looks like. So let's um, catch the first site as we connect it with the uh, other site. So uh, this is the indoor unit and attached unit is the uh, audio uh, or raw with a specific height and distance as well in the tower. And the same goes for the um, second tower or the second site as this is the digital antenna. And this is the RAU uh, that a or RAU um, attached to it. And this is the uh, microwave connection that will uh, happen between uh, both of them, all right? Now, these two microwaves um, have to see each other clearly and there should not be any interference uh, between them. Um, not even a tree or a building. Uh, it has to be an empty space just between them. So the if cable, as you guys can see, uh, that goes with the uh, tower length, uh, it enters through the row unit uh, uh, with the index. So it enters, uh, it connects the, uh, it enters through the row, uh, not the dish and the, antenna, not this antenna. And it goes down with the uh, tower length. So it can connect with the, um, the RAU with the uh, indoor uh, unit. Um, and the if cable goes in the uh, card interface specific uh, for the if cable or IF cable uh, in the indoor unit. And of course the same goes for uh, tower two as well. Uh, the it go uh, the IF cable goes to the card interface specific uh, for the IF cable in the indoor unit, and um, we will connect a power cable to the indoor unit, of course. Um, and this power cable comes from the uh, rectifier uh, or anything that generates DC power. All right, so anything that generates DC uh, power, uh, so it can come. Uh, for, uh, from DC box as well. But most importantly, it has to come from a source to supply the indoor unit uh, on the power card. And the same goes for uh, tower one as well. All right, um, I connect the DC power card, uh, whether this card is coming from a rectifier or DC box or whatever source. And then I will connect the power unit with the interface card specific for the uh, BBU by the, uh, yes, as you can see, the E1 cable or the over IP cable. And same goes for tower two as well. Now, when the connection is done, the, done, the there is a, uh, as you guys can see, a technician uh, or a tower technician that goes up here and another tower technician that goes up on the second tower as well. Um, And uh, while they're connecting uh, and they're doing their configuration, they start doing something called an alignment. All right. So they align the microwaves uh, together or the waves together. Um, as they adjust uh, these two audios to be facing each other, as they move this, um, let's say, dish up and down, all right, and left and right, till these waves can actually face each other. We talked about the uh, TX power and the RX uh, power before. Now, the TX, uh, the engineer puts, uh, uh, so uh, TX power, the engineer puts it as per planning uh, or the per, per the area that the site is in, because it depends on the weather and distance and size of antenna, of course, and the frequency also used. And it's an algorithm or equation that's calculated. But the RX power, as you guys can see, is the results, which is received uh, signal level. So it, it's RSL, all right? So again, it's received signal level. And this is an equation or an algorithm that depends on the uh, TX power uh, and weather and the distance of the site and the frequency used. And it is an algorithm or equation so that's why the RSL value is with negative for decibel. 
Um, now, a good value is minus 43 or negative 43 decibels to minus or negative 49 decibels. But again, it's per planet. So it can be negative 50, negative 52, negative 55, and, or even negative 40. At the end, it's OK. Um, so again, it's per planet. Now, this is how everything looks like. So uh, you guys can imagine the whole sequence and the, how the whole organization looks like. Um, during the next sessions, we'll continue the rest of the transmission. Now, this was the end of the previous session. This course was instructed by engineer Ibrahim Abdurrahman and was done as a voiceover by myself, Haytham Khalid. Always remember, the quicker you start, the faster you'll be efficient. Your participation and reviews always matter to help go on further. Thank you all.